Okay, we're back with Seb and his elbow. Now you might have remember him from previous videos with his knee. Now he's got an elbow injury and this is the one where he fractured his ulna, falling off a bike, and this is the post-surgical result. And you might look at that and go, oh my goodness, look at that, but that is a great result. That's a beautiful scar considering the amount of fracture you had and the hardware that's gone into that, that is looking really good. And if you look at the scar, it's moving really, really nicely. So he's doing well with that. You can see there's also a bit of sort of bruising and discoloration that's getting better and better and better. So the whole thing's improving. And what Claire's working on is getting his elbow extension better because that is the biggest and hardest thing to get right is getting the elbow back to normal extension. So we're gonna show you some mobilization that we do for that elbow to get that better. Okay, so let's have a look at his extension so you can understand what we're trying to achieve with his mobilization. With him, I mean, he started off to like there post-surgery and now he's all the way down, which is awesome, but he gets about, is that about your limit there? So he is not at zero degrees extension and some people are plus zero degrees, they're hyper extended as well. If you look at his left arm, he is pretty much zero on that. He's pretty much straight on that. So we're after zero, that's our goal. We don't need to go plus five or anything like that. We're after zero and just forcing it down is not gonna work. We have to actually glide the joint and get this moving. So let's see how we do that. Okay, so what Claire is doing is we're blocking the humerus with her right arm and then gliding her radius and ulna, so her, his forearm, into an AP direction. So going sort of posterior, if you like, because that's the direction that this joint is gonna go when he extends. So when you're aiming to extend that elbow joint, you actually get a sort of a glide movement of this sort of part of the arm, these two bones here, on the humerus. So just ramming into extension is not gonna work when you've got so much stiffness post-surgically. You've actually got to get the capsular flexibility better by moving the joint in that glide APPA position. And this way, in extension, is going in an AP direction of the forearm. So this is super effective, and it's got them like all that range back already. We're just trying to go for the end range and getting down to the nitty gritty of extension. So this will be the first part of once we've mobilized all the soft tissue and really warmed it up in getting it softer. This is the first thing we do and then we move to a seat belt. All right, here's the seat belt option. Now this is really good because it gives Claire almost another set of hands because she's driving down with a seat belt with her foot, which gives her that glide. And then she can stabilize through this hand, but add on the extra bit of movement here. So this is almost like what we call a mulligan movement with mobilization. So she's moving into extension while she's mobilizing into an AP and she's got a sort of PA block at their back there. So that's really effective. And obviously she just goes in the um, confines of how much pain or stiffness that Seb can handle. Um, what you'll notice though is what we've worked out is this shoulder, as she goes down, the shoulder starts popping up. So this is where sometimes if you've got a, if you're a physio and you're doing this, if you've got another physio in the clinic that's on a break, they can come in and stabilize this like I'm doing now, and then they get way more effect. You can see how that's the, when you're getting pure range now, whereas before, if I let that go, when she pushes down, she's almost getting fake range here because she's pushing down, this is popping up. So if I stabilize through here, which again looks after the shoulder, she can really hone in on getting exactly the right amount of movement to extension, but also really target that area right there. Is that okay, Seb? You're all good with that? So that's super effective in clinic mobilization. That really helps stretch out all that elbow, get that movement better so he can then start training it um, for strengthening and also doing his homework into stretching. And I'm gonna give you some homework options to sort of replicate that, if you like, at home using some power bands. So while Seb's in there doing his exercise, I thought I'd show you what he's doing in detail out here. 
two things. You can use a big thick power band like this and go in two different directions. You just gotta make sure the band is in the right spot to get the glide like we were doing in the clinic. So for this way, what you're trying to do is push it into extension, but this band is then going to glide the humerus knee on it that way, okay, just like the belt was. Now, a couple of things with this one. You're gonna find this is quite hard if you don't have the triceps strength. So if you're someone who is recovering from this problem and they've got a massive weakness, so your tricep is down, you may struggle with this. If your tricep is okay, you'll be fine with this one, but if you've had any elbow surgery or injuries where you've lost the extension, it's got to do with the tricep tendon or weakness there, you might wanna go for the next one. But if you've got tricep strength, this is quite a good one to do. What you wanna aim for is to pull that stretch that band in flexion like that, sort of as when it's got quite a bit of load and place your hand down. But what you've got to do to get elbow extension, you've got to rotate your humerus there. So you're getting external rotation of the shoulder. So therefore, what's happening is my elbow is now facing forward. So when I extend, I can go from flexion to extension like that. Okay, so I'm trying to use the tricep here to extend my elbow. So I bend here, making sure that band is on the sort of radius and ulna. And then when I push forward, I squeeze a tricep, and this helps the glide, and then the tricep helps extend. The other beautiful thing about this is that's resistance. So I'm actually getting some strengthening work in the tricep, which is sometimes half the issue. It's not just the fact that my elbow is stiff after surgery or injury it's that that's weak and it can't pull it into extension. So that will help you with the strengthening component in a nice closed chain position rather than open chain, okay? Now, the other way is doing it facing the band, but you'll have to have the band on the humerus this time, not down on the forearm, okay? Because we want to get that same extension movement. Now, this will help you if you're lacking that tricep strength because it's gonna pull you into extension, all right? So this way, put it around here, so it's above the elbow, and then step, or come backwards in that position. So if I go into flexion, so say that's my range I've got, I then let the band pull me into extension. Again, externally rotated here, okay? So this is my sort of rest period, I bend my elbow, and then let it drag me into extension. But the good thing about this is I'm getting a glide as I drag, so it's like a double whammy. So this will work really well for those of you with trying to get that sort of elbow extension and locking it out into that position. Now, that's really good for people who are quite sore and you know post-surgery stuff. If you're beyond that stage, Seb at the moment is still pretty tender to accept load down through that forearm on a bench or something like that. So, He's going to get to that point where we'll be able to load him up with some bands. But if you're one of those people who is not sensitive and you can handle some load, then I've got another advancement. What you need is something like a bench, like this, okay? And you bring that bench back into here. But what you'll need is two bands. I would use the thick band for the glide again, but you need a thinner band for the load. So you put that band around the attachment point as well. Doesn't matter. The height, I just keep it low under here. So what happens is, you've got two bands. One is gonna be again on that forearm. One is in your hand. Now what I suggest you do, if you look at my elbow, I'm leaning on that, I want my elbow off the end, but then that's too much pressure on the edge, so then I need to come down to there so the whole arm's on the bed. Now, Again, this is a bit of pressure, so I can already feel a bit of pressure in the back of the triceps. So if you're one of those surgical people where it's too sore at the moment, this is not for you. But there's my rest period. And then what's happening is when I go in extension, I'm letting it eccentrically go in extension. So I'm letting my bicep switch off. And sometimes that's half the problem is the bicep's so sort of gunged up and tight because it's been protecting it for so long. That red band is driving me down. This band is giving me a bit of a glide and it's pulling me into extension and then I can bring up, let it rest, recover, how long it might be, it might be 10 seconds, 15, and then go down again and let it drag and let that band pull me into extension to get the stretch and then 
coming back up again. You won't be able to tolerate that for too long. Some stretches like, you know, when you talk about mobility, it's like, oh, one to two minutes. This one, you can't do one to two minutes on that. It's gonna to be too much for that joint tissue. I would go maybe 10, 15 seconds at a time. It's almost like a really slow repetition. So your rep range can go up. So instead of doing one or two stretches for a minute, do sort of like 10 to 15 of these and like two or three sets, but have that slow drag of sort of 10 to 15 seconds. I hope that makes sense. But that one is definitely an advancement when you can tolerate a bit of load through the back here of the tricep and when you're just trying to get that last little bit of degrees that needs an overpressed sort of force and you haven't got a physio like we've got to do it for you. See you next time.